Hello everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and I'm doing a nice wee video this morning on my Rough Rider fixed blade, the wee skinner. Now, we went through the measurements when I was doing it before. I think it weighed about six ounces. It's about three and a half, four mil blade spine there. Really solid little number this, really solid. Lovely belly, just look at that belly. It's gorgeous. Now, it's the 440A or the 440 stainless or surgical steel sometimes they are but there's nothing wrong with that and it's like I keep saying my that as long as you can sharpen it doesn't matter what the steel is and I've sort of wanted to prove that this is something you're going to take out and skin whatever it is maybe not a whole deer but you might have to sharpen it but I want to show you just how easy it is to bring this back to sharp again and how quick it is especially if you're out in a wet day or something you don't want to be sitting there for 20 minutes doing sharpening so i'm just going to show you how to do it i'm using my version of the fock niven cc4 where i've added their diamond stone and a piece of leather kai bomb so what i'm going to do is show you how to do it so how does the knife start right the knife is like this it's got a few rough places on it what I'm going to do is make them even rougher. I'm going to run it along this Dino Stone. This is what we all hate doing. Now, is it any better? <laughs> it's not any better. You get wee bits that are all right and then it just won't, that won't even cut there. So, that's it. I've been skinning for a while. It's gone blunt. What do I do? Now, for those who are just learning how to do it, this is your magic marker. If you put this on, if you've never sharpened before, this is why I keep recommending this to people. It's not because I get anything for it, because I don't. I paid from this with my own money. I have used them for years. It's what I learned to sharpen, hand sharpen on. So, your back marker, and it doesn't have to be expensive one. Any permanent marker is good enough. Just run it up the edge of the blade. I'm not worrying about going right the way back because I can do a quick sharpen, and if you want to learn how to sharpen your blades, don't worry too much about having to get, you know, completely even bevels. Learn how to get it sharp first, and then you can learn how to do the rest. And it really does take no time at all. It's probably not the best way to say it, but... Now I can see where I'm going to be hitting on my stone. And I'm going to go for the fine stone. Because people think that this is too fine, it's not going to cut. Au contraire, it cuts all right. There's no doubt about it, it cuts. It's a lovely size wee stone. Maybe just be careful with your fingers at either end when you're going through. This is a big belly, so this is exaggerated. Normally in a straight knife, you're pulling down like this. So you're not coming anywhere near your thumb. You're going that way, not coming in here. But with this, you have to come across and down. So just go slowly. There is no rush to get this sharp. So... I'm going to take you, this is in real time, I love to do my sharpening in real time, because then you see exactly how long it takes. So, if you're checking the clock, we're gone, we're going now. So, you just follow it round, follow the blade round. And I give three swipes like that, and then I turn it over. And I have a look at where I am. I have hit right down in my apex, but I've hardly come up at all. So I'm going to drop it down a bit lower. Look where it's hitting. And you don't have to do big swipes even. Just do it like this till you get the angle that you want. There you go. You can see on that, I hope. It's very hard to show this uh, on the way. So I'm now hitting right down at the apex and coming up a little bit on the blade. So maybe even a wee bit lower again. There we go, I'm starting to come up the blade now. So, I know where it went, so. And this is all you have to do. I'm gonna shake your hand there. That's just old age, nothing to do with my sharpening. And this little fine thing that people keep thinking doesn't actually do anything. Look at that, it's taken nearly all that black off it already, so. It is now starting to to show what it's doing and that's great so now again we're just going for a quick sharp and i'm not going for anything that's just 
have I got right up to the edge? I have, the only place I haven't got right up the edge is probably back here. And all I can do is like this. Just try and find where that blade's lying flat, where the bevel is. There you go, already. It only takes a matter of minutes to find that bevel. There we go. I've taken all the black off. How good is that? So don't think that this doesn't do it because it feels fine to the touch. Now, there we go. So what I'm going to feel now for is have I got... I thought I've got a burr all the way up here, but this last little inch I haven't got a burr. So I just go back again, just get this lead bring it up a wee bit so that I'm getting that apex and the apex I mean is where the where the it comes to a V I need to be hitting the very top of this V V because that's what's going to make it sharp so I'll just give it a quick now all I'm doing is I've got a burr down to here it's still just that last wee bit's being stubborn I have never sharpened this, so this is just the factory edge that I'm, that I'm taking off. So I don't think the factory edge is right down to the bevel. That's why I caught a bit at the beginning there. I mean, you can see I'm not taking any time. Anybody can do this. It's just a matter of practice. And this is a great way. Don't have to get the big stones out and sit and go all nice lines and bevels. Just learn how to do this to get an edge. And that will encourage you to go further. I'm getting there, it's just that last wee bit again at the bottom. It must have been really off. And let's be honest, when I'm skinning, that last little bit won't be the important bit because I'm going to be skinning, my hand's going to be up here, I'm going to be skinning with the front of the belly. So, But we're sharpening it, so let's get it sharpened. Right, let's switch it over now. You can see that side, all the black marker is off. Can you see that? Yep, you can. It's all off. So I'm going to go on the other side. And it's exactly the same again. Try and find that angle where it's sitting. If you have to look up like that, try and find that angle. And then just, I always just do that first three to see where I am. I'm, I'm getting better at the angle. If you can see that there, I'm getting better at finding that angle. It's already taken quite a lot of the black off straight away. And that's just, you know, because you've been doing the other side, you get that feeling for where the angle's going to be. It's just, and it's just learned muscle memory that you just copy on the other side, the same angle. So look at that from top to bottom, a couple of swipes, it's nearly all off the top. I haven't got it. So again, when you got a belly, come to the end of your belly where you want to, I want to get to the very top inch here. So get your angle, come along to the belly and then that means you're at that angle that the rest of the blade is at. And that's what you want. There you are. You see it coming off? There's only that last wee bit at the top. So again, get my angle, come along and just give it a quick, get that angle the same. Because then once it's there, it's all off now. So now all I want to do is stick to that angle that I was at. And I'm going to be hitting, hopefully, the whole of the bevel all the way down. I mean, I haven't practiced this. This is just, this was the factory heads that came with it. It's not something you can practice. I can feel it the whole way up. So, you know, I, I've got my edge, so I'm going to take it off now. I'm just not trying to, I'm doing an awful lot of talking. I just wanted to show you how quick it was. So I'm taking that off, and now I'm going to do just swipes either side. Now, what I'm trying to do is get that burr off. When I move that burr back and forward there, all I'm trying now is to get that burr off. Let it come off the stone. So, and again, there's no rush whatsoever. And if you don't get it perfect, don't worry. It, there really is no worry because all you're trying to do is get this sharp. This is not a pretty contest. That's for later on down the line and not on this little system. This is just a system to get your blade 
any blade back when you're out at work or this can sit in your bug out bag, it can sit in you can have one in your car, they're about twenty dollars each, they're not gonna break the bank, and you have a complete system that's gonna get so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna feel this before I go to the next part of the, the, the stone itself, which is the white ceramic. So it's getting there, do you know what I mean? There we are, it's getting there already. We're not far off it. But what I didn't like was just at this base, as I struggled in the first time, was a wee bit sticky. So I'm just gonna go back over that again. Now, hopefully that's a wee bit better. Let's have a look. There we go. It's sharp already. So don't think that that can't cut because it feels so smooth. It can cut. It removes steel. Again, I don't know you can see that already. I had cleaned that beforehand. And the cleaner, all you need is a cloth. I mean, I get a scrubbing brush and a, a, a bit of powdered detergent. But there's that clean now ready for the next time there's no problem so i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to use the white ceramic and this is about a thousand grit so this will give this a really good keen edge now if you're doing a bit of skinning and you feel your blade going a wee bit dull or you're, you're doing a bit of cooking and you feel your blade going a wee bit dull don't wait till it goes dull just pull it out and use the white side that's it, and you don't have to wait. This is only in case you'd sort of, you're in the middle of something, you can't do it. Never wait till your blade goes dull. Whenever possible, get that strop on it, or get this on it. And if you want a keen edge, I would do this first, and then I would strop. And you can see that starting to, I can see the edge starting to come on that. I can start to see the shine coming off the end of it. Is the whole bevel shiny? No, because I haven't given enough time. So, but you can see there is a, a luster already on that. I don't know whether you can. This is, again, I'm trying different camera angles, but look, it's shiny enough. It really is just a nice wee edge on it already. So, let's see, how is it going? There we go, that's pretty sharp in it. That's pretty sharp. So, what I do before I'll do that, I have these, they're little alcohol wipes. They use the pre-injection pre swabs. Because I had um, ink on there, I just wrap this around it and I'll clean anything that's off. Because I really don't want to put this onto my strop. You know, any black that's on there, I don't want it on my strop. So I'll do that and then I'll give it a little dry off. Blade safety obviously being the best. <laughs> so that's it off. It's now ready to get a little bit of a strop. And this will, if there is any little burr left on it, this will do it. So a strop is simply rubbing it across the leather with no effort, just the weight of the blade. And that's it. Now, I'll do this a bit and I'll let you see. This bit of leather had not been stropped on much, but again, I've cleaned it and put a new strop on it. Oh. A while ago I haven't really had to use it but so this just takes any last wee bar off it and makes it a proper tool that you can do work with. There we go. Strop and done. Don't have to worry about five goes each side, usually enough. You can go ten if you want. You know, any anything more than you're doing on the ceramic and on that is just giving you a keener and keener edge. But I'm just doing this for a demonstration of how easy it is. And how I don't, you don't see me sitting trying to find angles, just go. And you'll get used to doing that edge. I think you'll find that that there will skin anything. That's as sharp as a razor. Now, this is 446, so it might dull quickly. Or 448, or surgical stainless, whatever it is. It, it, it might dull quickly, but that edge will work. And there's nothing wrong with it, it will, it will work. It's only if you hit a bit of bone or you hit something, it's going to dull very quickly. But any knife will do that. If you start hitting bits of bone, you're going to dull the knife. 
maybe the really high end steel like maximum nut but to me that is the perfect skinner it's easy sharp and you can use it about the camp if you're cooking whatever you're doing it comes in a little sheath it costs you 15 dollars even if you don't want to use it what about your teenage children what a great way to get them started what a lovely looking knife to have on their belt what um this for that money twenty dollars i just don't think you can grow any child would love that any adult would have, i love this i will take this if i'm going camping or whatever it really is a lovely knife this system i believe is amazing i have a little stone here it's one of these wee rubber stones you can buy for taking pencil off or taking ink off you can get a wee school rubber anything at all put that over the top give it a clean off every now and then i do exactly the same with this as i do with the other side a bit of powder detergent powder put it on there give it a scrub and I, but that's clean enough i can put it away now knowing this is okay there we go there's that there you can see where it has removed steel on the strop and taken that last little burr off so i now have a really sharp skinning knife that was blunted on a diamond stone not but a couple of minutes ago so there you go i highly recommend this little knife the rough rider skinner amazing i got this from heine haynes um but i know over there smoky mountain knife works head over there great people over there and i mean genuinely great people if you're not subscribed to their youtube channel or facebook get over there and get it done because they have live shows during the week where you're interacting with people who are selling you the knives i can watch it from ireland and join in the conversation you know you can sit and type in questions and they'll answer your questions on the live show so smoky mountain knife works for this in the in the states if you're over in the uk hang your hands i'm sure there's other places that do them but great knife great great knife i just think absolutely stunning 15 quid or something in the uk brilliant polly's away thanks for listening to my old waffle i hope that was of interest to you that cc4 with a wee leather it's just a wee bit of cow butt on the back of it now it's a good bit of leather and it's a wee diamond stone that uh, fuck niven do themselves i stuck it on with super glue stuck that on with super glue and that's it i've got the full package if i had i had a chip on that i could have took it out on this this is rough enough to take chips out, especially on a steel like this. It takes seconds. So, I'm gone now. Cup of tea for wee potty. Take care now. Bye-bye.